My name is Dr. Sanya Nishtar and I'm candidate for Director General of the World Health Organization. I formerly served as the Minister of the Government of Pakistan. I play leadership roles in civil society both nationally and internationally uh, and I've served in the multilateral system in various positions. Well, first of all, I think that, see, that it's very tragic that you've had to ask me this question. It's very tragic that the World Health Organization uh, has to come up with a global action plan to end violence. Uh, such a question should not arise. I mean, violence against anybody by anyone in any setting is completely unacceptable. Uh, and violence affects physical well-being, it affects mental well-being. And it's completely de detrimental to the health for all objective that we all aspire towards uh, in our world of health. So in the first place, I would say it's, it's unacceptable that such a question should even arise. But your question was about health system. So in terms of health systems, I think we need to institutionalize an approach to violence. Uh, to, um, we need to institutionalize an approach to end violence um, through all the six health systems pillars. And that involves a strategic approach in terms of implementation of the Global Action Plan. Starting with governance, we need to make sure that the right competencies and capacities are there within health systems. So, are the national plans there? Are the national focal points appointed? Is it part of the governance level institutional arrangements? We have to ensure that at a national level. In terms of financing, we have to ensure that appropriate budgets are allocated to this as a line item, otherwise things don't get up and running. We have to ensure that uh, met the appropriate metrics which allow us to measure violence against anyone in a domestic setting are part of health information systems, whether it is population-based surveys or whether it is uh, facility level health information system metrics, or whether it is registries, whatever the case may be, depending on the type of violence. Uh, so it is not just lip service that we have to pay to the implementation. It is not just a commitment, but we actually have to cascade the, that commitment and those words into actual implementation by going down to a very granular level. I talked about governance, I talked about financing, I talked about health information systems. We also have to address it at the level of other health systems pillars. For instance, service delivery. What kind of arrangements do you have? Are there are people facilitated to report? And are the healthcare providers there attuned to responding them? Is it part of their uh, continue, continuing ongoing capacity building system um, curricula, for instance? So I think there has to be a concerted effort to, ca to cascade that plan at every level uh, of the health system pillar and of course the the global action plan has a broad rubric it provides us the principles it provides us the approaches and it gives uh, the incoming director general um, a very good platform and a leverage for advocating against violence um, in any speech for instance uh, at any engagement um, with the head of state or a minister of health but then through your regional offices and through your country offices, you have to make sure that these nuts and bolts are put in place. Because if that is not the case, we will not be able to make significant headway. Well, it is not just the minister, it is also the head of state that I would like to speak to because uh, the WHO Director General, as a, as a matter of convention, calls on heads of states and I think these are the kind of things that you need to bring up. A and I think, reiterating what I said earlier, you have to emphasize that it's completely unacceptable in today's day and age of civilized society for such practices continue to prevail. 
I have a very strong commitment to this area because of my civil society background and because of the fact that I accepted to serve on the independent accountability panel for the global strategy on women and children's health. And I think you have to emphasize it in your engagement at all appropriate levels. Uh, and then, as I said earlier, you have to facilitate the institutionalization of the right approaches right at the very grassroots level in terms of the health system's grassroots. Mm -hmm.